Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about how you can integrate Matomo data to uh, Google Data Studio through a connector and the connector is uh, the following one, so it has been developed by uh, VIU.1 It took me some time to make a video tutorial about it because uh, Google Data Studio is a proprietary technology so I don't see really the point of taking a free software um, database and sending out the data to proprietary technology but as it's uh, highly asked by uh, people who are used to uh, let's say Google Analytics I thought that it was interesting to talk about it anyway and as well to recognize the work which has been made by the URU, uh, dot, uh, one because it's, um, it's, it's important and that's probably one of uh, the greatest connectors I have seen so far uh, to send data from Matomo to a third-party system. Um, VIU.1 is not um, uh, an open source technology uh, neither, so it's uh, under um, a licensing terms, uh, which are at the time at which I'm talking right now is close to uh, 30 euro uh, to spend per month. So they offer a free trial in order for you to be able to test and see what's going on. Uh, I think that it's as well a product really well evolved and which is providing uh, what you really need in order to send uh, data to, to Matomo. Um, dealing with how it works, it's kind of uh, straightforward. You just need to go on their website, you just need to register and once you register, you need to go into uh, your Matomo uh, instance and then you need to create a token, security token, so at, uh, the, at your account level within the preferences. Then you can create an account, of course, uh, from there, pay attention to uh, the kind of rights that your user have. And in my case, I'm a super user, so definitely I will uh, erase the token once I will have finished to play with VIU.1. Uh, once uh, you give your credential to VIU.1 thanks to this platform, then uh, it uh, explain you how you can connect then your account over here to uh, Google Data Studio and then you are ready to go. So it's, as I say, it's really straightforward, not techy at all. You just need to give the authorization to Google Data Studio and it just take a couple of clicks to do. Once uh, the integration is made, then you can pick up uh, the connector uh, that you want out of the list within Google Data Studio. So here you select the one of, of Matomo. Then, uh, uh, you are uh, going to land over here, so here you can select the Matomo instance that uh, you link the account to. Once uh, you are doing this part out, you can then uh, select uh, the different uh, site that, that you want. Uh, by the way, just to let you know that VOW that one is really well done because it allows you to connect your uh, connector to several different instances of Matomo. So it's like you can in fact query different servers, not only one single server, of course. Uh, you need to uh, pay license terms which are which have more rights for this, so it's going to charge you more. But that's a huge advantage of using this given connector, is that you can plug it on many different Matomo instances. Uh, then you can select the website that you would like to work uh, with, so in my case I'm going to pick mine, and then I can move on. I can move forward and it works exactly the way that the API is working. So it's like you select the different reports that you would like to import data from. So in my case, I'm going to take the page URL because I already play with, uh, with it. I'm going to take, for example, the, let's say, the, yeah, I can take definitely the sources of traffic. So um, <laughs> let's take uh, sources of traffic. Of main metrics, content name, downloads, entry page title, entry page name. Uh, what do we have up here? Mm. Uh, my wish is to take, yes, let's for example take the, the channel types. Uh, then you get all the different options which are already available within Matomo, such as uh, make the report flat. Uh, disable caching and, and so on and so forth. So it's it's really well done. It's really taking out the different parameters of Matomo. You can as well apply uh, the different segments that uh, you are uh, creating over 
here. So those are the segments that I created within Matmo. So it, it's really, really powerful. Uh, then you just need to click on associate. So it's gonna uh, extract my report name channel type within Matmo and import it within Google Data Studio. And um, so here it's exactly the same thing as you would have got if you would have done um, uh, an export through the API. And what I find out, which is really, really cool when you do so, is uh, that you can select uh, the date. And this is like super cool. So let's first uh, wait for the data to be loaded. So here they are, I'll get the bounce rate, but I have no interest in it. So I'm just gonna pick up, select the visits, uh, actions, 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 there are visits. So can I get the visits? Yes, okay. So now I'm getting the visits, okay. And uh, if now I would like to get, for example, the number of uh, visits, let's say like uh, last month, so I just need to go over here and I can, uh, so it's custom period and it's gonna be like, uh, let's go for the months. Um, can I take period fix? Yes, and I can take, for example, the full months of March. So let's say on the 1st to the 31st, oops. So normally, if things have been done properly, I should see by my side on channel type, so if I go uh, over here, apps and choosing my website for the month of March, March, month, March, acquisition and all channels. So I should see 364, 304, 18 and so on and so forth. And we are over, over here. So I just need to rank them, but definitely I got them. So 204, 264, 8, 12, and 18. So I got all of them. <coughs> Those are exactly the same data, which are sent out within Google Data Studio, giving me the possibility to choose the date range that I want, giving me the possibility to add the segments and to play as much as I want with Google Data Studio. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.